Hey, Beaver. What are you doing? Show you You're not going to say you're picture in the BMI, are you? Well, I might. Oh, Wait, wait, see your foot. That'll ruin the modeling business. Where's the science guy? Ben Madoff, look at the picture, Arn. I'd sooner eat a live chicken than be your model. Oh, then you don't make sense. I always make sense. I'm a rational, reasonable man. Mm -hmm. um, look, uh, number one, uh, one of the first things you did was reform the system that was in place in West Virginia that allowed people to write off debt if they engaged in public service. There's almost a million, 785, don't know the exact number, I'll get the number, 700 some thousand have had debt forgiven, or debt forgiven because of their work working in these are teachers or other means to qualify. And we continue to make that easier. Secondly, I am considering dealing with some debt reduction. I am not considering $50,000 debt reduction, but I'm in the process of taking a hard look at whether or not there are, whether there will be additional debt forgiveness. And uh, I'll have an answer on that in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a rather quick uh, question and answer period with the President of the United States there. Um, it, it was interesting because this was supposed to be, and it was at first, about Ukraine. And it quickly got into, you know, how the world sees us, who is leading, I'm paraphrasing now, that we're going to put in another $22.5 billion, so on and so forth. That's about half as much as some are calling, even a guest exceeding its hour with Dana and, and Bill, who was on the ground there, saying it's more like $40 billion just for right now, but the president says he wants to make some sort of long-term sustainability uh, for long-term security systems for Ukraine. He's calling it his supplemental budget request, which he says he will send to Congress. And from there, it was a little bit more like the bars at the end on 4th of July, where every topic is just up in the air, and you got to fire everything you got left to close out the night. Because then it was COVID, and then it was this, and this. So we were glad that we got some questions. Um, but then it got rather political when we got to the place. I'm going to bring in Raymond Arroyo now, Fox News contributor. Raymond, I, I think you could tie in the Ukraine, the COVID, the inflation, all into the politics of the moment. He went reflectively to the Republicans have to do more. Uh, look, Harris, this is the default position, but the facts don't lie. We have a GDP growth report that came out today. We went from plus positive 6.9% growth to this quarter negative 1.4% growth. That is akin, in fact, it, it exceeds the drop off from COVID between 2019 and 2020. I mean, Biden has sunk this economy. The inflation is as high as it's been in 40 years. There's no getting away from that. And his answer, the answer of this party seems to be, let's spend more money. The public supplement is just to put all of this in context down those rapid fire. But the why we're here in Ukraine, and it seems the president is far more concerned about Ukraine than he is about the war in Yeah, what'd you do? Well, I was back and came down to dinner. My parents 
feet. <laughs> was any hollow at you? One simple but brilliant trick to cool your home in 90 seconds. Yeah. I guess we can mess around in here. What's all this junk addressed to your brother? Your pop sending him to summer camp to get rid of him? Oh, if he were sending his picture into some modeling agency and wanting to sign up, the father told him it was a joke. What are you not in modeling school for? Oh, you're telling him, Eddie. I wasn't telling him nothing. 